to day three of this 30-day digital challenge. So thank you for joining us. I uh, hope you're having a nice Friday and I uh, hope you have a great weekend as well. Now today we're going to be talking about three quick wins in digital marketing. Now these are really easy, tangible actions that you can implement in your business straight away. Now the first one we're going to cover is heat mapping. Now if you've not heard the term before, Heat mapping is all about making a, a, a more sort of scientific judgment based on consumer behavior before you change or amend anything on your website. So if you're either looking to build a new website, improve your current conversion, and optimize conversion on your website, you can't just move something based on, you know, maybe you want to move a navigation because you want to, uh, you think maybe something, a piece of content would look better somewhere. You need a tool to help you make that judgment based on what your current visitors are doing. And only then can you actually start to see really good improvements. Now, for instance, there's an amazing tool called Crazy Egg. It's free for 30 days. You literally can set it up within 60 seconds. You don't need any technical knowledge. Now, once you've got Crazy Egg installed on your website, what it's going to do is it's going to heat map. So not only can you see a visual overlay on your website, you can see exactly what visitors are doing. So Google Analytics is great in terms of how many people visit a website and how many people go onto that page. But what are they doing once they get there? Now, to make an informed decision about the design and the improvement of your website, what we need to see is what are they clicking on? If there's a video on there, how many people are clicking on it? Now, you're going to get a numeric overlay of how many people are clicking and taking a particular action, which is great news because if you've got a navigation, you're unsure whether that's working, you can see whether anyone's actually clicking on it and you can see what the most popular pieces of content is. The other thing you're going to get with Crazy Egg is you can see exactly what the visitors do on your website. So for instance, um, you imagine somebody's coming from LinkedIn or Facebook or an email, you want to see what that specific audience is doing. So you can break it down by source. Now the next thing that you can do with Crazy Egg is once you've done the heat mapping, once you've done the overlay, we can look at the scroll map. Now what the scroll map's gonna do is it's gonna judge where your most persuasive content is. So if your most persuasive content is at the bottom of the page, it'll be highlighted in green, and then the second most popular content, orange, and the least popular in red. So what we want you to do is use Crazy Egg to make informed decisions, to improve conversion rate optimization. Now, once you see where people are hanging out on your website, then you can take that content and you can place it in the best position. Now, one thing that I want to uh, look at is um, once you have got your website redesigned or maybe you've got a new website uh, that's being uh, developed, what we want to do is then start thinking about submitting your website in all the local directories. Now, what this is going to do in turn is once you submit your website to maybe your industry niche directories, business websites, and so on, um, it's going to have a marked improvement on your SEO. Now, again, when you start doing things like improving conversion rate optimization, that means that people visiting your website are obviously going to be more likely to uh, convert into a lead or a paying customer. Now, once you've submitted all of your um, uh, sort of uh, directory listings, what will happen is obviously it will drive more traffic. So really, the, the more places your website can exist outside of your own website URL, the better, because the more chances you've got of driving traffic. Now, the next thing you can look at is um, think about contacting a, a thought leader in your industry, because Quite often what we find is um, in um, you know, the world of blogging, businesses often struggle with what content can I put in there? Now, we're all looking to drive more traffic. Blogging drives on average 44% more traffic and gets 67% more leads. Now, why? Because you've got more chance of appearing in search and the more times you appear in search, in turn, the more traffic you'll get. Now, you're also positioning content that people are interested in. Now, if you go off and interview a thought leader, What's going to happen? Well, they in turn are going to share that content as well. And they're going to take the content and that interview onto their social network. So it acts like pull through marketing. So um, if you're again maybe thinking, well, you've not got time to interview someone, a really quick, easy thing you can do, you can create a blog post today and turn your FAQs 
frequently asked questions into any a unique blog post. These are great ideas because if people are asking, it's content they want, so you know that there's demand for it. And again, it will help your customer service team and your support because you'll be placing content in there that people are looking for. Now, again, if you are looking for a guaranteed improvement in the performance of your website, you need it to make sure it looks good on the inside as well as the outside. Now, what we mean by that is obviously the more places that you can obviously enhance your content within the site, the better conversion, the better it's going to perform. Now, again, if you're doing things like blogs and uh, directory listings, directly list directory listings are going to cause um, a nice little ripple effect of backlinks and traffic, and they're going to drive traffic from other places. So. Try and think about places that your target market are hanging out on the web, forums, uh, directories, you could even guest blog on other sites, which in turn will drive traffic. Now, these are quick wins in your business, and you can really, really start to see dramatic results with your digital marketing. Now, um, today is day 23, and I'm in Fitzrovia, uh, it's Fitzrovia in London at the Mandrake. I've just nipped out from a, a meeting. And um, tomorrow's content that we're going to be uh, looking at is day 24. Um, we're going to be looking at creating digital marketing strategy. Now, 50% of businesses don't even have a strategy in place. So please think about, um, number one, quick wins that you can implement ways that you can help convert more uh, visitors and again increase visitors by appearing in SEO. So tomorrow digital marketing strategy join us at one o'clock if you're watching this on LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter it's one o'clock every day live and if you join the Facebook group business consort at the end of the 30 day challenge we're going to be giving all of our group members something really special. We've put together a PDF of all the 30 digital marketing um, tips and tools that we've put together over this challenge. And we've created this lovely booklet and guide, and we've put some extra tips and extra tools in there to help support. So make sure you join the group and comment, like, and share. And I shall see you tomorrow, day 24, for the digital marketing challenge at 1 p.m. on Facebook. Have a great weekend. Take care, guys. Bye.